Happy Valentine's Day. It is Sunday, fun day, February 14th, 2021. Steve Cypress here, and my beautiful wife, Michelle, is perusing through the latest issue of my Boston College Law School alumni magazine that arrived. And, oh, it's just the Boston College Law School magazine, I guess. I receive it because I'm a graduate of the Boston College Law School. And uh, I was like, really? I don't even read the thing. My beautiful wife, Michelle, is reading through it, possibly because on the cover, they're talking about lawyers and entrepreneurs. And then she pointed me to this report with all these statistics and figures and comments about it on the inside. Uh, I was especially drawn to this couple of things here. One part up here in the corner, which uh, purports to uh, to display the differences between entrepreneurs and lawyers. There it is, that entrepreneurs are adaptable, lawyers are loyal, as if you can't be both. Entrepreneurs are creative, lawyers are detail-oriented. Entrepreneurs are high-risk tolerant, lawyers are risk-averse. Entrepreneurs are confident, lawyers are disciplined, as if you can't be both of those. Entrepreneurs are determined, lawyers are principled, as if you can't be both of those. And entrepreneurs are perseverant, and lawyers are persuasive, as if you can't be both of those. And I guess they're saying that for the most part you can't, because the second statistic that I was drawn to is this one right here. Look at that. This is showing, well, if I take my fingers off it, this is showing what percentage, what the education, percentage of education for entrepreneurs. So high school only, 33% which uh, doesn't include, I guess, the high school dropouts. I wonder if these numbers uh, uh, they add up to 100, but there should be some for, I guess it's, at, it's high school and below. Uh, and then there's associate's degree, bachelor's degree, master's degree, and then doctorate, including my law doctorate that I am a, uh, what am I, a juris doctor. So I have a doctorate, my degree from Boston College Law School, only 4%. Only 4% of entrepreneurs have a doctorate degree, which I guess would include a PhD, a medical doctor, a dentist, uh, uh, attorneys, uh, doctorate degrees. 4%, one out of 25 entrepreneurs have a doctorate degree. And so I, I am one of those 4%. How about that? But they talk about how much entrepreneurs and lawyers can work together. Uh, based on, I guess, those supposed opposite traits that they have, that attorneys can, can, can get some things from lawyers that they don't have, like get some details since they are too creative and get some principles since they're too determined, uh, get some persuasiveness since they're too perseverant. Like, really? I think the, the number one thing that works for me is uh, being high risk tolerant, uh, pretty much a definition of an entrepreneur. We take risks. Uh, is someone who's risk averse, someone who is more um, risk averse. Someone, uh, my beautiful wife Michelle, performs that function in our relationship. Well, I am always looking for opportunities. Typical entrepreneur, and I see opportunity. I'm like, look at the opportunity, look at the opportunity, look at the opportunity. My beautiful wife Michelle will say, yeah, but look at the downside. Yeah, but hang on, look at the risk. Yeah, but is that something you really need to do when you're doing all these other things? And, or is that the best opportunity out of all the choices you have? And you only have 24 hours a day, how many more opportunities you need? Blah, 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 blah. So uh, that's one way they work together. There's a bunch of others. But it was just interesting to me to see that one out of 25 entrepreneurs has a doctorate degree. Uh, I think uh, for the most part, people that get doctorate degrees is because they want to uh, move ahead inside the system. Right? They want to get paid more, so they'll go get another PhD or qualify for a position that needs that degree, doctor, attorney, uh, PhD to be a professor, for instance. They want to qualify for a position inside the system, so they stay in school way too long, like I did, to get a doctorate degree. I started my first what would become a multi-million dollar business during my final year in law school. And uh, never looked back, uh, never practiced, uh, didn't even pass the bar exam, never became a lawyer, never did any of that stuff, became an entrepreneur, and uh, life has been great because of that. However, 
still have my law degree and still get my copy of the BC Law Magazine. So I thought my beautiful wife, Michelle, has something to read on Valentine's Day. Who knew? So happy Valentine's. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're spending your Valentine's Day a little bit differently than, uh, than, uh, than I just relayed a few minutes of how we spent ours. Uh, but however you do it, it's all good. That'll do it for Sunday Funday. I'll catch you back here again tomorrow on Direct Mail Monday.